Before I start the video, I just want to clarify this. I recorded the footage for this video back in 2022. I have not added any more plushies to this collection from the day I recorded this to the upload of this video. Hence why I named this video Super Mario Plush Collection 2022. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, please enjoy the following video. Well, it's been a while since I've done this type of video. Hello everyone, Glorious King Gabe here, and I'm going to show you my Super Mario plush collection as of 2022. Let's get started. I just combined all these ones since nothing's new or nothing's been added to these specific lines. So for BDNA, we have Wingcap Mario, DK, Diddy Kong, and Toad. Kelly Toy, we have Mario and Luigi. And for Goldie, it's Yoshi and Koopa. Yeah, I figured, yeah, I just combined them since nothing's changed. And here we have the Sine Super Mario series, or as I like to call it, the Super Mario Red Tag series, because it comes with a red tag. This one right here. Okay. So we have Mario and Luigi front and center, because, you know, Mario and Luigi. Next to them are this f the fire equivalents, which includes a Fire Mario, not All Stars edition, because I went on about how All Stars. Mario is way too big next to this Fire Luigi, and they never bothered to make a All-Stars Luigi. Oh boy. So yeah, that's why I got this one. We also have Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. Yoshi's right over there, Baby Peach is right here, Rosalina's right there. Ah, the coin block with actual coins in there. Well, not actual coins, just, you know, those like pirate coins. Chain Chomp, Boo, and Bowser. Yeah, that's pretty much that part. Oh, once we get to the All-Stars part... Woohoohoo, boy! You guys are in for a treat. Now, before we get into All-Stars, here we have a combination of World of Nintendo and this slime called Club Mochibi. So we got the freaking Bullet Bill, my first one. Yep, still with that patch with the tags hiding. We also have a different Boo, which has a pink tongue and a more protruding mouth. That was probably accidental. And there's the World of Nintendo tag. We have we have the Superstar. Really wish I found the mushroom, but hey, who knows? I'll get it one day. And Yoshi's egg. <laughs> I was gonna make one, but since I found this one day, I decided, eh, why not, eh? Why not? And here we have the four bootlegs. This uh this Goomba I got from New York. This one-up mushroom I got from San Francisco. Donkey Kong, which I got from eBay, based off of the Mario Party 5 Donkey Kong plush. Although I'm prob most likely going to change the eyes and modify the lips, that way they don't do that. Oh, boy. You know what? Yeah, stay like that. And a Bowser Jr. Yeah, with a paintbrush. This is interesting. Really interesting. I had to fix his eye, but it looks okay, but who knows? Maybe I'll get an actual... Junior Bowser Junior plush. Who knows? Maybe I'll get an actual Donkey Kong plush too. Now we have the big bulk of my Super Mario collection, the Sine All Star collection. All right, and honestly, I f after a certain amount of plushies, I forgot which one I got in order. So I'll just go whichever order I can think of. So we got a Peach and Daisy right over here. Really nice. We got Wario and Waluigi. Oh fan favorites, especially Wild Luigi. Got Captain Toad. Never thought I'd get this guy, but I like him. I wish I got the one with the pickaxe and the turnip, but you know what? I still like him. Got Baby Daisy, Baby Rosalina. Metal Mario, which was a nice surprise. Oh, there's his eyebrows. If only I could find the Invisible Mario plush. Then I'd have all the N64 ones. But alas, he's hard to find. Ah, yes. bob -omb. I really love how he turned out. <laughs> Bullet Bill. This one's much bigger than the World of Nintendo one, and I'm glad I got him. Piranha Plant. Yes, I love I love that he has a pipe instead of a, a, a flower pot in from Smash Bros. Got Shy Guy back, back there. Ah, Dry Bones. Nice, really nice one. Hammer Bro. Uh, red Para Paracoopa. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's how it goes. Got Lakitu right here. 
We got a... I always forget, is it spiny or spike? Basically, it's what Black it like it throws. Unfortunately, I did not get the addition where this guy's dangling, but hey, it's alright. Oh, 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 how can I forget? Kamek! Man, I, I mean, I had... I thought this one would look bigger and, you know, the face would look fatter than the original, than the first edition one, but you know what? This looks great. I, I had no idea what I was worrying about. And that seems to be it, except for a few things. Bah! <laughs> I gotcha! Yep, I have the Piranha Puppet Plush. Uh, no, no, no. Well, I guess you can consider it a plush. I consider it. Yeah, this thing's really great. Yeah, chomp in, chomp him, make him talk. It's a good way to practice your ventriloquist skills. Or not. And you can bring him back into the pipe, although it's kind of hard to, um, kind of hard to just demonstrate it with one hand. Still, really, really love this guy. Aw, thank you. Probably the biggest Mario plush I'll ever own. The Bowser Shell, also by the line um Club Mochibi if the tags here yep tags here man this is this is wild and I love how it's like how the details are they're like printed but they're not like overlaid they're kind of like it's like a part of the material it's nice oh man look at the collar look they even got the underside man so <laughs> boy yeah this is a good thing to throw at a Thread people as a joke. Man, this was a nice gift. And surprise to me, I got two of the three Luigi's Mansion plush toys. So yeah, let's start with a uh, scared Luigi with the poltergeist. You probably saw him in the uh, All Star um part of the background. Yeah, this is lovely. I I, I did not know I was ever gonna get this, but I'm so glad I did. Nose is kind of blocking the eyes, but uh, otherwise, I love everything about it. The shade of green, the nice material, the poltergust 5000. Really, really, really nice. And it's the one with the strobe light, not the one with the with the nozzle. Lovely, lovely. Luigi's Mansion tag. Really wish it was the Luigi's Mansion 2, the Luigi's Mansion 2 tag, but hey, I'm not complaining too much. And Polter Pup. Who is my uh, latest addition to my Super Mario plush collection here? Cute little guy. I honestly thought he'd be bigger, but I'm so glad he's not. And it's a little tongue here. Those eyes. The, 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 I forgot what that part is on the collar, but that's there too. And also has a tag. <laughs> Adorable little guy. And yet, we were not able to get <sighs> Professor E. Gad plush. What a shame. I've saved the best for last. My custom pl Mario plushes. All right, yeah, let's start with Cappy, the first one. Or is it the Poltergeist? Well, either way, they're both next to each other. Am I gonna make Tiara? I don't know. Will I make the other Poltergeists? You know, I'll have to get back into making custom plushies, but uh, that's for another video. Okay, let's move down here to the family of Lumas. Got the yellow one, we got a red one, a light green one, dark green one, light blue one, dark blue one, and a purple one. Ah, oh, man, I guess, I'm surprised I didn't make the player two or the baby Luma one. Who knows, maybe one day. I also have some accessories here. A uh, custom Rosalina wand. A custom superstar, which is now redundant now that I have the Club Mochibi one. <laughs> a a super crowd. And don't worry, it's not turning anything into well well I don't need to go into detail. Cappy eyes for my Mario cap, which I don't really use anymore, but I still keep. Oh, and here's the paper prototype. Lovely, lovely stuff. Ah oh, man, and now these three. We got a custom blue toad plush to um match my BDNA toad. And a boozette. Still looking great, still holding up, although I might want to change her dress and her hair to softer white fabric. And Professor E. Gad. Since Nintendo never made one, I made one myself. Might be small, but I still think he's really great. One of my, I think one of my best uh, Mario plushes I've ever made. And let's not forget Mr. L. And I've uh, since abandoned the 
the wrap around the hat technique to have his emblem, and I just sewn the emblem onto onto the hat. His old one is still under there, but uh, yeah. And it's not like the just the suit anymore, since here's my uh, Luigi plush. I bought a second one that looks similar. I would go with the All Stars, but that's too big. Yeah. Eventually, I might want to change the gloves into um, gray, but you know what? I think I like the white on that. Shoes, maybe gray, but I, I still think it looks great. It's still a great uh, custom plush. Really, really nice. Really nice indeed. All of these are, let's be honest. Wow, I had a lot more plushies than I thought. But man, look at all of this. I mean, comparing to my dinky little collection in 2018, it's grown massively. Man, look what we have here. We got Bowser's minions all back there with his shell. We got Yoshi, Donkey Kong, and Diddy Kong right over there. Got the Toads over there. I still need Yellow Toad, Toadsworth, and Toadette. Man, I'll get to those eventually. The power-ups. I will get the, a regular red mushroom one day. Probably the same as the star. Gappy, because I have no idea where to, um, where to put him. Oh, and the super crown and the question block. Got the other babies down there. Luigi's Mansion related stuff. Ooh. Will I ever make King Boo? Who knows at this point. <sighs> the princess is over, the, over here. And Mario and Luigi. All different type of variants. From Kelly Toys, Zane. Sine Fire Bros, Wing Capped, Metal Mario, Invisible Mario, I can't believe I finally found him, he's right there, yeah, yeah, and Mr. L. Man. Yeah, just let's take a, let's go back and just take a full look here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Of course, I'm still gonna get more plushies, like, uh, I'm probably gonna make Toadsworth and Toadette that way doing the same, um, general size area as my BB and A toad. Probably gonna get a Bowser Jr. without the paintbrush, because I did find a really good one. And if I don't decide to um uh change Donkey Kong's uh, face right here, I might get an official Donkey Kong. Oh, and I guess in terms of Bowser's minions, I can't have too many uh Goombas or Koopas. Heck I just I need a green I need a green pair of Koopa and a red Koopa, and a para, para Goomba, <laughs> but who knows, who knows, honestly, yeah, who knows, and since it's easy for me to make these little Lumas, I might just make an entire rainbow's worth of Lumas, especially Baby Luma, and I'm still not sure, but I may or may not make a Cappy's sister Tiana, but only time will tell. Same with King Boo. No, I'm not just gonna... And I don't want to just slap a crown on a Boo. I mean, like, actual King Boo. Like the blue one from Luigi's Mansion or the purple one from 2 and 3. But like I said earlier, only time will tell. Although, if I decide to stop collecting Mario plush toys, I'm pretty happy with the amount of them that I have displayed right here, right now. Gosh, just look at all this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry we're, we're taking another close look at it, but I'm just really happy with what I have. It's not as big as any other Mario Plush collector, but I have to say, there's a lot of characters that I've always wanted, and now I have. I have a grand total of 67, wait, hold on, 68 Super Mario Plush toys. Man, that, that is a lot. I am so sorry I did not make an update for 2020 and 2021. Although with 2020, I think a lot of people will understand. But I am so glad to present my collection as of 2022. And with that, I am done. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video.